did that, Sinjit? Well, after Brock and I parted ways, I undertook some study in Vanaheim, truly mind-expanding. Now and then, I need new inspiration to grow creatively. Part of why we split up, my brother and I, he's stuck in his way, so our work stagnated. Sure, we mastered weapon making, but then what? Change is a part of life. If you can't adapt, learn to thrive, you'll be left in the dust. And that's filthy. Okay. Until next time. Before you go, see that you take special care near the peak. I'm pretty sure Odin is protecting something up there, and you don't want to get on the Aesir's bad side. Who? Us? Oh, I could use a distraction. I uh, threw in a polishing on the house. There's just so much blood. Oh. Now, there is something else to tell you. Huh. Feels like it wasn't that long ago we were hunting deer. Now we fought dark elves, and trolls, and ogres, and a dragon. I feel like we could be anything now. We win because we are determined, disciplined, not because we feel ourselves superior. Stuck. Wonder if there's another crystal around we could use on those roots. There we go. Want me to shatter it? Oh. 
Oh, I'm gonna like this. Strange them. That was gonna completely blow up. That crystal, I shot it once, but it's glowing again.
us now. Now it's stuck on the other side. I will never get tired of shattering things with this. tried to tell me this one, but I think I was too young. Are giants coming out of his armpits? I think that might be Odin stabbing him. What's that? <laughs>
Not long now, Mom. when we fought the dragon. It's all right. I can hold it. Stop. The broken quiver will slow your draw. Pain we endure. Faulty weaponry we do not. This will do for now. Good? Good. Go. Steady, boy. Mind your footing. Must be somewhere. You hear those voices too, right? Yes. Be silent. You know why we're here. The last thing you managed to loosen your tongue. That sounds like the same man who came to our house. You said you killed him. Shh. You brought company this time. It must be important if the sons of Thor deign to grace me with their presence. Tell me, you two still tripping over yourselves to impress Daddy? The tattooed man. Tracks show he now travels with a child. Where would they go next? Why would I know that? You're the smartest man alive, aren't you? Smarter than all the dead ones, too. You help me, I help you. Tell me where they are, and I'll talk to Odin. Your father won't let me go, Baldur, and he won't let you kill me. You have nothing to offer me, so take your questions, take your threats, take these two worthless wankers, and... Piss off! When no one's looking, we'll be back for your other eye. 
Don't you forget, we're everywhere. We really are, aren't we? Ah, the very topic of conversation. A tattooed man traveling with a child. Boy well, we took that path. Make sure we're alone. But we just saw them leave. Do as I say. He doesn't know what you are. And I would keep it that way. Who are you? Me? I'm the greatest ambassador to the gods, the giants, and all the creatures of the Nine Realms. I know every corner of these lands, every language spoken, every war waged, every deal struck. They call me Mimir, smartest man alive. And I have the answer to your every question. Why does the son of Odin hunt us? Okay, there are a few gaps in my knowledge. But Odin's had me imprisoned here for 109 winters. I'm a clever lad. I can piece it together. I promise. Given time. Nobody there. Just like I said. The boy's mother is dead. She wished her. She wanted us to spread her ashes on the highest peak in all the realms. Oh, then you've come to the wrong place, little brother. The highest peak in all the realms is not here in Midgard. It's in Jotunheim, realm of the giants. No! That could not be what she meant. Take a look. This is the last known bridge to Jotunheim in all the realms. See that mountain? Looks like a giant's finger scraping the sky. That's the highest peak in all the realms. No here. Can't we just take that bridge? We have a Bifrost. When the giants destroyed all other bridges to their realm, they locked this one up with a secret rune. If it still exists, only a giant would know it. And all of them left Midgard a long time ago. True. But today, the winds of fate have kicked up a strange vortex of coincidence. Fact is, there's only one person alive who can get you where you need to go. And luckily for you, my schedule's wide open. We're going to Yodenheim, right? It's your best and only move from a tactical standpoint. It's the one place the man who cannot be killed won't follow you. What do we do? Yes! First, you need to cut off my head. Wait, what? Odin made sure that no weapon, not even Thor's hammer, could free my body from these bonds. But fortunately, you don't need my body. The trick is, we need to find someone who can reanimate my head using the old magic. Old magic? Mm. There's a witch of the woods. She knows the old ways. And she'll help. She might do. Worth a try. But if she fails, he will be dead. He tortures me, you know. Every day, brother. Odin himself sees to it personally, and believe me, there is no end to his creativity. Every single day. This... This isn't living. Very well. Oh, I can't watch this. Brother. In case you can't resurrect me, there's something you need to know. Boy, the longer you wait to tell him his true nature, the more damage you do. He will resent you, and you may lose him forever. There is much about me I would not have him know. So you value your privacy more than your son? I'm going to cut off your head now. Fair enough. Yo, 
good now. We're going to Yona. We're going to find the long lost realm of the giants. That's... that's... Inconvenient. Yeah, that's just what I was going to say. Remember the way to the witch's house? Yes. The woods with the blood red leaves. South of the lake. I know just where to go. If you get it back to Malfine, you can bring the mirror back. He seemed nice. Before you cut off his head. somewhere in that mountain. I guess they really did leave Midgard, except for the serpent. Maybe the last of his kind. Are you the last of your kind, too? Is that why you don't like to talk about... My you? kind? I mean, your family. Before mother. Where you think about Mother and father? Now is not the time for that. screeching at you whenever you're twiddling your short and curlies. Leave him, boy. No, Fab. Well, you already soiled my solitude, so you may as well join me. You're not hungry. Good. It's not what I was offering. Saw your brother again. Congratulations. And I'm sure you'll let him go and roger my axe good and plenty again. Hmm? Let's see the damage. Mm, little can 
cutthroat wouldn't know proper weight and balance if it were dangling off his chut. <laughs> Eating well enough? I guess. Good. All better. Now what the fuck else you want, huh? Times he gets so wrapped up in his work, Sentry has it the sense to sip us up. And if he does remember, good luck getting him to cook his own meat. Guess I got all the stomach in the family. <laughs> with the smarts. You miss him. What? That spit vister? What do you know? I just mean hey, that. Do you mind? Trying to concentrate here, already on a break from my break. You scare up that alchemist what needed finding? to the witch. First we need to find a boat. Do you remember the way back to the witch from here? That way, behind the big statue of Thor. Try another story? It can't be any worse than the last one. Very well. There was once a scorpion who wished to travel to the other side of a river. Why? If you continue to interrupt, I will end the story. Okay, okay. The scorpion asked the frog for help. He told the frog that if he gave him a ride across the river on his back, he would be rewarded. The frog protested, fearing the scorpion would sting him. The scorpion assured the frog that he would not sting him or they would both drown in the river. The frog agreed. But halfway across the river, the scorpion stung him. The frog was mortally wounded, and they both sunk to the bottom of the river and perished. That's sad. Why would the scorpion do that? He was a scorpion. It is his nature to do harm. Oh. That's just what Mom used to say about the gods. Your mother always spoke the truth. Enough stories. I know she's really powerful, but you really think the witch can bring the head back to life? She seems competent in her craft, and we have nothing to lose. If she can't bring it back to life, can we keep the head? No, but you may feed it to the fish. Okay.
Okay, this will lead out. Turn back AC. Guess the guys are welcome here. <gasps> there he is. I hope you remember that. <laughs> I bet this will lead out. How's it going, Charlie? Is there a here? What is that name? That's what he told me it was. Or what it sounded like in my head, anyway. 
Charm. Look here. Sir. Interesting. 